Hey guys! Today I'm going to tell you how I made the mashup of Faster by With Interpretation and Wicked Game by him, and why these two songs sound so similar in the first place. There's going to be some music theory involved, but I promise I'll try not to make it too boring or nerd out too much. Making the mashup wasn't actually that difficult, and these explanations probably will sound more complicated than the creation of the mashup itself actually was. So why do these two songs work so well together? It's time to dissect it. Let's start with the basics. Both songs have a tempo of 120 beats per minute, to be precise, Wicked Game is 120.4, but we can round it down because you can't really feel the difference. As far as I know, nobody has the perfect ear for tempos anyway. The key of both songs is B Dorian, or H, if you are in some European countries that use a slightly different system, like me. If you're not that familiar with the modes, Dorian is kinda like minor, but with a major 6th degree of the scale, so it sounds kinda more hopeful. Faster also has a short modulation to G major in the solo, but we'll look into it a bit later. And here is a music theory nerd moment. I'm sorry, I promised that I'll do my best not to complicate things, but this is my pet peeve. I saw on the web that some people argue that Wicked Game is an E mixolydian, which kind of makes sense if you're looking at the chords and the, the key signature slash accidentals, or even in A major, which also kind of makes sense. I know all these sharps are confusing, but it seems to me that these guys forget about the melody. You can't really define the key by only looking at the signature or the chords by themselves. You need to take the melody into account, and the melody in a wicked game never really rests on either A or E. It always resolves to B, which implies that the song is in B minor, but G is always sharp, which is a major 6, and it means that it's in B Dorian. I've also seen that Faster is supposedly in F sharp minor, and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, because while F sharp minor chord sometimes appears at the end of some phrases, it actually serves as a dominant chord that leads to the tonic. And again, the melody always resolves to B. Now to the chords. Wicked Game only has three chords, they are repeated on and on for the whole duration of the song, so they are in the intro, the verses, the choruses, and the solo, and these chords are B minor, A major, and E major. Faster begins with a different progression. It's B minor, F sharp minor, D major, and again F sharp minor. And then we see the familiar B minor, A major, E major in the verse, pre chorus, and chorus, sometimes with the addition of D major and F sharp minor. However, to me, it looks like these additions are not really that important from the harmonic point of view, even though the pull from the 5 chord to 1 chord is a bit stronger than from 4 to 1, but they are there rather to accommodate the riff that is played over them and that propels the song forward more rhythmically, and maybe to make it sound less like Wicked Game. And a couple of words about the vocal melody. 
and faster, the melody mostly sticks around B, C sharp, and D, with occasional E in the verse, and it moves up and down in a kind of a wave shape, which is pretty common. And it's basically repeated in the chorus, but an octave higher, with a new addition of the high F sharp as a culmination. Wicked Game starts in a pretty similar way, but it quickly develops a few melodic and rhythmic variations. However, those similarities are enough to mesh the songs together. But wait a minute, Chris Isaac's original version of Wicked Game has almost all these features. The tempo is a bit slower, but the chords and the melody are the same. And Faster doesn't sound like that at all. Well, yes, there are probably thousands of songs that use this chord progression, have the same key and even somewhat similar melodies. The main reason why these songs work together so well is the arrangement. Obviously, both bands have drums, bass guitar, guitar and keys. There are many ways to write the parts for these instruments, however, there are some genre-specific standards. Of course, you can add some more instruments and sound effects that can bring some new elements to the song and make it more unique. Like with Interpretation, added this siren and some string runs in the verses, but I intentionally made the arrangements as similar as possible, because I had some meshing up to do. Before we get into this part, an important note, I will be showing you examples from my own arrangement, and for my cover I transposed the song from B Dorian to A flat Dorian. You can also call it G sharp Dorian, because these keys have either six flats or six sharps, and it makes them enharmonically equivalent. That is, the notes sound the same, but they are written differently. In any case, I decided to move the songs to a lower key, because I needed them to be more comfortable for my voice, but still be in the same key. And it's not an easy task, since they are performed originally by two absolutely different singers. While they are mainly in the same range, they use different techniques in the high register. Faster needs a mixed voice and belting. Faster and Wicked Game requires you to flip from mixed voice to falsetto and back. The high note is the same, but they sound very different. So after a lot of trial and error, I found that A-flat is the most convenient for both songs, so I moved everything three semitones lower. So let's get to meshing up. As I mentioned before, the intro in Faster has a different chord progression than literally everything in Wicked Game, including the intro there. So how do we combine them? I didn't want to really change anything, so I chose to kinda reharmonize the melodies by using the chords from their counterparts. The intro theme from Wicked Game works fine with the chords from Faster. Even though it doesn't match the chord tones completely, it creates some really nice tensions. By the way, him don't use this theme in their version of the song, so it comes from the original. Now the verse. This part is very similar in both songs. If I play you these four bars without vocals, you won't know which song it is. You can only recognize it by the end of the second phrase, when the guitars play different riffs. Faster also uses those additional chords in the second half of the verse. I personally don't like them that much, so I decided to use the verse from Wicked Game as the bass. However, the drums in Faster are more interesting and varied, so I used them for almost the whole mashup. 
for the vocals, I took the first half of the verse from Faster because it starts in the same low register as Wicked Game, but it stays there for the whole verse and even in the pre-chorus while Wicked Game goes up. And I think that this development makes the song more interesting. So I took the second part from Wicked Game. Since this part is already higher, it would have been a very sudden and a logical move to go back to the pre-chorus from Faster, because it's in the lower register. So we just jump into the chorus. The instrumental parts here are mostly from Wicked Game. You can hear the harp playing the distinctive riff. <laughs> The chord progression is naturally the simpler one without the additional chords. By the way, tell me in the comments, did you actually notice that the chord progression was slightly different than in Faster? The piano part is also mainly from Wicked Game. They are almost the same anyway, um, at least in the first half of the chorus, except for the riff and the chords at the end of each phrase. But in the second half, I meshed them together because on one hand I wanted that fast rhythm and on the other I still wanted the Wicked Game riff, not the one from Faster. The chorus starts with the vocals from Faster, but I added the low backs from Wicked Game, so we basically have the same call and response succession. That's my mashup dream come true. The second verse is different from the first one. We have the call and response thing in the vocals again, and I was able to do it this way because the vocal melody of Wicked Game changes in the second verse, and the second half of each phrase falls exactly in the pause between the lines in Faster. It was a very nice coincidence, and sometimes the combined lyrics even make sense. I can feel that you mesmerize my heart to make me feel this way. I feel so free. The instruments are again mainly from Wicked Game, except for the drums, the woodwinds, and the harp, just to make it all more interesting. This verse flows into the chorus very naturally, thanks to the connecting phrases in the vocals, and since it obviously starts with Wicked Game, I needed to somehow fit faster in. But whole phrases from this song are just too long, so I cut the notes that hold for the whole bar and move these modified phrases to start a bit later. And surprisingly, it works pretty well. The next part is the solo, and here things get a bit tricky again. As I said in the beginning of the video, Faster modulates to a different key for the solo, and the chords are absolutely new there. So I wanted to shift from one solo to another somewhere in the middle. And here we have another lucky break. The seventh bar in Wicked Game ends on D sharp, and the 8th bar in Faster begins with the same note, so now we have a common tone. And what about the chords? Wicked Game uses the 4 chords, while Faster uses the 5 chords at that same moment. But what if we don't play the 4 chords till the end and go to the 5 and then to the flat 6? It creates a kind of a walking bass line that leads us to E major. I'm not sure what this kind of modulation is called. I guess we can just write it off as a common tone modulation, but there's probably a name for it that I don't know. 
so leave a comment if you do. The second half of the solo comes from Pastor, but it's not quite like it. The original one is played on a guitar and uses a lot of fast notes, a little bit too many for my taste, so I changed it to match my style and instrument better, but I left the chords as they were, just added a little bit of a fancier resolution through 1 sus4 to 1 chord. In the breakdown, I decided to set the songs against each other again. So the instrumental part is from Wicked Game and the main vocal line is from Faster. This part is actually pretty much the same as the first chorus in this regard. However, this time the third phrase, I go faster and faster, is acting as a pre-chorus or lift, a part that we didn't use before. I go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster The final chorus is the most multi-layered one. Now we have not only the call and response, but a few counterpoints as well. And it sounds generally more like a jam or an improvisation, probably because of the ad-libs from Wicked Game. I go And of course, I wanted the ending to be not like in either of the songs, so instead of an a cappella moment from Wicked Game or the intro theme from Faster, I just took the last vocal line from Faster and used it as an a cappella ending. A fairy tale of lies. So I hope you enjoyed nerding out with me. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Watch Faster, Wicked Game and the mashup. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.